Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to talk to you about passwords. How to create a password for a file, for a sheet, and a password for part of a sheet. So first of all, I've got a file on the screen which has three months, January, February, and March, and a total sheet. On the total sheet, there are some formulas in most of the cells and then a little graph there. So what I want to do is lock this sheet down completely and not allow anybody to type anywhere in these cells which would overwrite these formulas. So to password the whole sheet, all I need to go do is go to Format, Protect Sheet, and I'm going to give it a password, just my first name, and then you've got these options here, Protect Sheet, Worksheet and Contents, and whatever's ticked, you are allowing people to do without knowing the password. So at the moment, I'm allowing people to select the lock cells so they will be able to see the formulas and things and select unlock cells. I'm allowing people to do that. If I click OK, it's going to ask me if I know my name, which I do, but now it's all locked. But what I can do, I can still select this and see this information so I can still see the formulas. And I can also do this. If I forget the password, I can actually just highlight this sheet because I can select it, copy it. So I did Control C, Control N for new, and Control V to paste it out into a new sheet where there will not be a password. So I can type. So the new sheet, the new file, hasn't got a password. So that's one way of getting your data back if you forgot your password and you did leave those ticks on. However, word of warning, I'll just close that one down, Control W, I'm not saving it. If I go back in and re-password protect this, so I'll just do unprotect, so Steve, and then protect it again, but this time take the ticks off, so protect sheet, I won't bother typing another password in, obviously people can just undo it if you don't do that, but if I take these ticks off and click OK, I can't actually click anywhere now, look, I can't type, that's good, but I can't actually click anywhere to see these formulas. So therefore, I can't select anything, Control A doesn't work, nothing works. So I can't select this to copy out into another file. If you forget the password when you've done this sort of um, locking down, you have to go to YouTube and there are lots of different videos of how to get a password off. Uh, especially you have to go into Windows to do it. So there are many videos uh, to show you how to do that. But I'll just go back and protect that again. But this time I'll put the ticks back on. So that is obviously a safer option, but people can see what you're doing. Now, the other one I wanted to talk about is the sheets. I want to lock this down, but I want people to be able to type in these yellow areas. So that's like creating a letterbox through this sheet for people to type. There's two steps you have to do here, and I'll do it three times, even though I can sort of do what the first part, I could group these three sheets and do the first part together, but I'll do it three times so you can see it. You highlight the area that you want people to type. You go back across to the format button and you take the lock off. So the lock is on by default, so that's very hard to see, but it's actually pressed on. Every cell is locked which means nothing by itself, but when you do protect sheet like we did on the total sheet, every cell is locked. So therefore, if I take the lock off these cells, these yellow cells, when I do protect sheet, every other cell will be locked except the yellow ones. So if I go format now, protect sheet, won't bother with the password, click OK. Can't type white, can type in the yellow, which is what I want. So I'll do that again on the February one. So you highlight the area or areas. So you might have a few areas. You can hold your control key down and do it like that. You highlight the area that you want people to be able to type. You go to format and you click the lock cells off. You go back into format and you click protect sheet on. And again, you give it a password or not. Not for me. Can't type it there. Can type in the yellow. The last one, March, highlight that. That's where I want them to type. Format, lock off. Format, protect on. Okay, check it, can't type. 
can type like so. And if we go to the total sheet, whatever I've been typing should be picked up by the total sheet, which is protected from before. So everything's sorted. Now to save a password in the file for file open, when you go file save, so if I just go file save as browse, so I can get into this box, you need this box really. The password to open the file is in tools and then general options. And then you get this box coming up which is giving you options, password to open or password to modify, and you've got a read-only ticky box. If you forget this password, again, you've got, you can't even open the file to copy anything, so you've got a problem. So you make sure you do a password that you can remember or other people can remember, and then you'll be able to open it. So I'm not going to put a password on now, but that is what you would do, and therefore the, pass the whole file would be secure. Cancel that. Cancel that and then come back to this screen. So this is how you can password protect a sheet, password protect parts of a sheet, or password protect a whole file. So hopefully this video has been of use to you. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.